how to make a carousel slider in Canva for a website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create a carousel slider within Canva and integrate it for Canva or any website that you want. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to go to canva.com. Then, simply you are going to sign in to your account. Here we have a testing account, as you can read. And then we are going to create the website. If you don't know how you can create a website, all you have to do is to select the website from here and you have the dimension or the right dimensions for the website. Or you can go ahead on the search bar of Canva, type simply website like this and click on enter. It will show you tons and tons of uh, templates that you can go ahead and uh, customize them and create them as your website. These are some uh, designs or the templates. There, there are some uh, free uh, templates or also there are some uh, pro features or paid uh, designs. Now, let's go back to canva.com. Then I'm going to search for my website. As you can see here, I have a website created. It is named home. I will click on it and here we have it. This is the website from Canva. I'm going to add a page to that website or I can go ahead and add something to it. This is the page that I want to put the uh, carousel slider. Now I'm going back to Canva. Then I am simply going to choose a element from this which is called presentations I will click on it and here we have the presentation 16 by 9 click on it and here also we are going to choose a something that we are going to put for the slider so uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is to add three or more pages then I'm going to unify the background color like that or this also that here is it. I'm going to make another page or I'm going to delete that page. Also for this one, I'm going to delete, select only the first one and I'm going to add the three pages. So they will get or have um, the same font or the background. Then let's say that I'm going to add a, some images to these pages. Let's begin with this one. This is a design that I have created using Canva. So I will make this like that. Let only a little bit of the background color, make a little bit of spacing. And this is for the second one. And for the first image, let's go ahead and select anything from presentation like that. Let's go ahead and choose this, make it a little bit wider. So it will go and cover all the page. And for the third one, I'm going to add this banner or this book cover that I have created also using Canva to let you see that Canva is very util or usable for a lot of uh, things that you can go ahead and make. And finally, we have the, the mock-up image. Also, here we have a mock-up image. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit uh, wider. And here we have the four images. Let's go ahead and delete that. I don't want to make this one. Let's say that I am going to add another image, which is this one. This is a copyright free image. So I'm going to make it a little bit right here. I'm going to zoom it a little bit. And here we have the four images. You can go ahead and make the ordering as much as you want. For example, like here, you can put whatever, you can put this image first, drag and drop it, and here. Now, if I want to get this as a slider, all you have to do is to click on the share button. Then we are simply going to click on more. And on more, we are going to share it as an embed code. Click on embed. Here, we are going to click on embed again. It will let you see here two options, the HTML embed code and the smart embed link. In Canva websites, we are going to select this one, which is smart embed link. Click on copy. 
go to the website that I have created. Simply, we are going to put the link right here. To get the link or the possibility to get this uh, embed code, you are going simply to the apps right here on the sidebar. On the Search Canva apps, we are going to type simply embed. And it will let you see an app or an integration that can help you create this uh, carousel slider that we have made since it is a presentation. Go right back here to the embed or the website. Simply paste the web link here since it is a Canva smart link. I'm going to put it right here. And as you can see, it is a canva.com slash design. Click on add to design. And it will take a couple of seconds and boom. Everything or the uh, presentation will be added. Here we are going to wait until the we see the uh, the presentation right here. It will take a couple seconds or it is here already. Now we are going to see here we have this one. I'm going to put this presentation for the whole page like that. Put it at the middle and here we have it. This is the uh, same presentation as you can see. It is uh, here on the website. You can see that it is a carousel slider. We have here one of four images. You can click on it uh, after you have published it on the website. Then you are going to see the carousel. So simply I'm going to publish this modification to the website. Click on republish on website and we will let you see the result of this carousel. It is very simple. So nothing is complicated right here. It, it is just creating some presentation pages and put some photos get the share and as an embed it is live as you can see I'm going to see the or view the website here we have the uh, header the the images the template here we have the carousel slider we have one of four images click on the next you will see the next here we have the preview or the previous one also here we go you can go ahead and click on it and enter the full screen and make the carousel slide. Here we have also something. You can get some options by clicking on the three dots. On the more, you can share it, hide it, or report. And here we have it. That was for the Canva version. If you are going to uh, select uh, or get this uh, design or this slider to another website, all you have to do is to click on the more embed and you will get the HTML embed code. You are going to copy this HTML code and simply add it to the website that you want. I'm going to give you a live example on how you can do that. Go ahead and get that HTML code. Simply copy it and go. I'm going to start with my Wix website. Here we have the Wix website editor. Click on add elements. And from there, we are going to add some embeds. Here we have embed code. Click on it. And as you can see, we have some popular embeds. We have the embed HTML, embed I site, or a custom element. Click on embed HTML. Here it will open up the uh, code HTTPS code. Paste it right here. Click on update. And you will see here the presentation will go on. Give it only a few seconds and it will be showing up right there. This is the code. It will take a little bit of time to show up here. I will give it a little bit of time and here we have it. Exit this one. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Get this slider and here we have it. This is the page or this is the website or not the page or this is the carousel as you can see one out of three and for this one this is the website I'm going to get back to this this is only the design that I want not the whole website click on embed right here go back to the Wix double click on this one select all the media and get the code correctly it will be appearing as the slider. Here we have the four sequences or the four images. That was for 
the Wix. Click on save here and everything should be well on the Wix website. It is saved. Now let's go ahead and add this uh, integration to Shopify. Let's go here to Shopify. We have signed in to our account. We are going to add this to our theme. Click on online store, select themes, and then we are simply click on customize. When you click on customize, it will show up the website that you have. Here we have the uh, website or the homepage editor. I'm going to put the header as invisible so you can get the clear idea of how we can do that. Go back right here uh, on the section that you want to add this. For example, we have the header. I can add a section on it, a template or the footer. Let's go ahead and add it to the uh, template. I'm going to scroll until we see the end here. Click on add section. We have here sections. We are going to search for custom liquid. Click on it. It will create a custom liquid right here, channel or space. Here we have it. Go to liquid code, paste that, everything. Let it a little bit uh, load the content of that code because it is a heavy code. As you can see, it has a lot of lines. It has a lot of data and it has a lot of integration. And simply, as you can see, we have this slider. We can see here one of four images. Click on back, put the cursor slider wherever you want and it will take a little bit of time to appear. And here we have it. You can go ahead and put it right here. Click it right here, put here, for example, I'm going to put it at the top of the template and here we have it. Click on save and you will be good to go. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.